Howdy, me Flobart here, and for those of you who are not familiar with my simple multiplayer project or are watching this for the first time, this is to help advertise and so that I can promote and sell this item. Um, as many of you know or don't know about me is I currently, this is what I do. I, I have the ability where I can sit at home and actually work on promoting my learning and helping other people with their learning and to try to create a video game that we're going to be putting on to Steam. In the meantime, I need to do a few things to generate a little bit of revenue. So one of the things that I've done is created the Simple Multiplayer. And this is a simple Steam multiplayer setup. So essentially what you're going to do is if you decide you want to purchase this, you'll get the RAR file and you're going to need to download and install two plugins, which, you know, if you can't find them, it's a simple Google search, but I will, if you need to, um, just catch up with me on my Discord channel, which I'll make sure is posted in the description for the video. Join me there, and I'm going to set up different levels of Patreon and a one-time purchase if you just want to do that only for buying it with, say, PayPal, but if you want to join the Patreon and start up that way and get a support account then that would be great as well. I'll explain that in more de detail in another video. Let's actually get into what you're going to get when you get this uh, this item. Um, all you're going to do is just I use WinRAR. I'm going to extract it to here and the easiest way to do it once you extract it is it creates a folder called Simple Multiplayer. You go into it and you just double click on it and with the Epic Game Launcher already open, it's going to expand out the folders that you need and it's going to go ahead and open up the editor just from double clicking on the project once you open it up. It's pretty simple that way. What I usually do is I end up moving it later to the Unreal Project folder. That way it's, it's easier for me to, to know where it is. If I want to manually insert files, which may be necessary at times if you want to inject stuff from other projects that are already UA assets, but we'll get into that later. All right, so what do you get? I mean, it's opened up. You've already got your plugins installed. And when you go into it, you've got your folders already set up. And what I'm going to suggest you do is come up here and right off the bat, click on this arrow right next to the play, bring down to standalone game, click that, and go ahead and let it open. We're going to take a look at what actually comes set up out of the box. This is just the same way you would see it if you purchased this and got it on your own. Alright, so what you get is the Steam interface where you've got your Steam username here and your Steam avatar here. Ain't I pretty? Exit button, multiplayer button, single player, and little simple plain clean menu system. If you want you can just click single player and it'll go directly into the single player map and just to be different I've changed to a red UE4 mannequin instead of the white one now we can hit the escape key but what if we didn't mean to we just want to go back into the game hit resume game continue playing or you can go ahead and head back to the main menu for multiplayer which is the main reason why you would want this I would assume is you can click on the find button and if anybody's got a lobby created all you'd have to do is click on the find lobby It'll take a, a few seconds sometimes. It'll come up. Now you will see that the ping will show is 9999. That's because if you don't already have a Steam Developer App ID, it's going to default to not being able to read it from the Steam server. So it's going to show all nines on that and just don't worry about it. It's just one of those things. But if you want to create a game, you click on Host. And please enter a server name. So you click in this box here and put whatever you want in here and then click make. It will create the session and take you directly into the game. Nice and simple, nice and easy. There's no heads up display, there's nothing fancy here yet, but for those who choose to um, want to update it, I'm going to continue a series of videos. In fact, the next video that I'm going to record is going to start adding in some other features and work towards creating uh, a multiplayer game where you can be 
whatever you want. I, I'm going to start off with just simple by adding a second character besides this. We already have this and the, the regular character. I'll bring in a blue character so we can start setting up perhaps a red versus blue type game environment and a character selection where you can pick your own color or whatever you want to choose. So I want to thank you for watching this video and if you choose to go ahead and purchase it I am selling this for ten dollars. It is very cheap but I think it's a fair price for something very simple that'll get you into the door of having the platform ready to go for you to build a game to start doing multiplayer in right off the bat. I mean, you can instantly just download this, install it, and then if you want to, you can just immediately go right over to File, Package Product, and Export to Windows 64-bit, and create this, and then give that copy out to your friends, put it on your Google Drive or whatever, and then you can just immediately host a game. Your friends can join you, and you can get in there and play. You know, I've got plenty of testimonials of people that I've given out test copies to. Um, when my development team actually starts working on a new project, we start with this because it works. It, it rock solid and works every time. All right. Thank you for watching. And again, please consider purchasing it. If you want to buy it one time, just buy it, pay $10 via PayPal, be done with it. But if you decide to go the Patreon route, then what you'll get is... The base level of Patreon will get you not just access to the Discord channel, but I will have a hidden Discord channel and level for people to go into that get immediate seven-day-a-week access to myself and any of my team members to ask questions about how to do things to add things into this project. And, you know, I'm not going to turn my back on people who don't do that, but the people who decide that they want to kick in on, on Patreon and, and contribute a little bit, even if it's $5 a month, to help me to be able to continue creating things like this, maybe create an updated version to add more features, or even create the, um, the core system for you to be able to just create maps and then integrate it into that core and play a game that way. So start with this, help me out a little bit, drop that 10 bucks. Everybody's got a few, you know, 10 bucks to spare. But go ahead and take care of that, and I will very much appreciate seeing it, and we will see you in the next video.